Good morning children. In today's class, we are going to learn problems based on logarithmic differentiation. Logarithmic will be helpful when we have difficult terms in operation. Or I will say x comes in power. When the expression is very complicated with too many multiplication, division, we will go with logarithmic differentiation. Let us see the procedure. Consider y equal to x power sin x. The next step taking log on both the sides. It is log y equals log x power sin x. Bringing power to the side, it is sin x log x. We have log y in the left. As we differentiate with respect to x, let us remember log x becomes 1 by x, sin x becomes cos x, log y becomes 1 by y dy by dx. RHS is a product of two terms. Keep the first term, differentiate the second term. Plus, keep the second term, differentiate the first term. Keep sin x, differentiate log x. Plus, keep log x, differentiate sin x. So, what is dy by dx? Bringing y to the other side. y into, here I have sin x into log x becomes 1 by x plus log x into sin x becomes cos x. I can simplify this as what is y? x power sin x into sin x by x plus log x into cos x and that is the answer. Second subdivision sin x power x. Consider y equals sin x power x. Taking log on both sides. Log y equals log sin x power x. We know in logarithm power comes near. So I have x log sin x. Log y equals x into log sin x. As before, let us differentiate with respect to x. Remember the formula log y. Log y will become 1 by y dy by dx. Log x becomes 1 by x whereas log y becomes 1 by y. Whenever y comes, remember to put dy by dx. RHS has two terms. Keep the first term. Differentiate the second term. Plus, keep the second term. Differentiate the first term. As we do, dy by dx equals y into. Keep the first term. x. Differentiate the second term. Log sin x will become 1 by sin x. Remember the formula. Log x becomes 1 by x. So log sin x will become 1 by sin x. Hide logarithm. Sin x will become cos x. Log sin x becomes 1 by sin x. Hiding logarithm. Sin x becomes cos x. We call this as chain rule. Plus log sin x into x I have to differentiate which becomes 1. We have completed the problem but in your answer write what is y. What is y actually given? y equals sin x power x into x cos x by sin x we can write as cot x plus log sin x into 1 is log sin x and that is the answer for dy by dx. Third subdivision y equals sin x power tan x. Taking log on both the sides. Log y equals log sin x power tan x. 
let us remember power comes near in logarithm so tan x into log sin x differentiating with respect to x log y becomes 1 by y dy by dx equals there are two terms keep the first term differentiate the second term plus keep the second term differentiate the first term so keep tan x differentiate log sin x plus keep log sin x differentiate tan x dy by dx equals y i can cross multiply tan x into log sin x will become 1 by sin x hiding logarithm sin x becomes cos x plus log sin x into tan x becomes secant square x what is y actually let us substitute y equals sin x power tan x into what is tan x formula sin x by cos x already there is cos x by sin x plus log sin x into secant square x the first term sin and sin cos and cos getting cancelled giving us the answer sin x power tan x into 1 plus secant square x into log sin x and that is the answer. Fourth subdivision given x minus 1 x minus 2 by x minus 3 into x square plus x plus 1 the whole thing within a square root. Consider the given function as y. Whenever I have square root I read the whole power 1 by 2. Square root tells me the whole power 1 by 2. Taking log on both the sides. Why should I take whenever the terms are complicated? Here I have product rule, quotient rule, power rule. So applying all that is difficult. In such complicated terms, I can very well take logarithm because logarithm has three main rules. Product tells me plus symbol. Division tells me minus symbol. Power can come near. So there are three rules. Let us remember log mn is log m plus log n. Multiplication becomes addition. The next idea, division. Log m by n. I can write log m minus log n. Division tells me subtract. And log m power n. Power comes near. So I have n log m. So these are the main rules that help me to simplify my problem even if it is complicated. Coming back to the question, power will come near and then I have log x minus 1, x minus 2 divided by x minus 3, x square plus x plus 1. So the first step, power comes near using this property. The next idea, multiplication tells me addition. Division tells me subtraction. So how do I simplify this? 1 by 2. There are 4 terms. The numerator tells me product. So add it. Denominator tells me quotient. Subtract it using the two rules. How do I write it? Log x minus 1 plus log x minus 2 minus log x minus 3 minus log x square plus x plus 1. Let us remember all that in product or all that in numerator put plus symbol. All that is in denominator put minus symbol. When I differentiate with respect to x, log y becomes 1 by y dy by dx. 
the RHS keep half as it is. Log x minus 1. Remember the formula. Log x becomes 1 by x. Log x minus 1 becomes 1 by x minus 1. Hiding logarithm. X will become 1. So chain rule I get only 1 by x minus 1. Plus log x minus 2. Same idea. 1 by x minus 2. Minus log x minus 3 becomes 1 by x minus 3. Minus log x square plus x plus 1 will become 1 by x square plus x plus 1. Is that all? In all the three terms, we had x having coefficient 1. But here, log of a quadratic factor, I should apply chain rule. Log of some bracket, I will write 1 by hiding logarithm. x square becomes 2x plus x becomes 1. So the differentiation part is over. Let us bring to the other side. 1 by y will come as y by 2 into 1 by x minus 1 plus 1 by x minus 2 minus 1 by x minus 3 minus 2x plus 1 by x square plus x plus 1. Taking LCM is a difficult process so let us leave it like this and we will substitute what is y from the question. So 1 by 2. What is y from the question? Square root of x minus 1, x minus 2 by x minus 3 into x square plus x plus 1. The whole thing into the bracket. 1 by x minus 1 plus 1 by x minus 2 minus 1 by x minus 3 minus 2x plus 1 by x square plus x plus 1 and the problem is over. Second question, if x power m into y power n is x plus y the whole power m plus n then show that dy by dx equals y by x. Can we take the problem as y usually? Whatever is given we used to take as y but y already comes in the problem it is implicit function do not consider the given question is y already equal symbol comes so take the question as it is and because it is complicated let us take log on both the sides log x power m y power n equals log x plus y the whole power m plus n let us see the three rules. Product tells me addition, quotient tells me division, power comes near. So the first idea, in the LHS, I will see to the product. So the very first rule, split it. Log x power m plus log y power n. For RHS, I cannot split because plus symbol is there. I can bring power near. So m plus n into log x plus y. LHS power comes near. m log x plus n log y equals m plus n log x plus y. Differentiating with respect to x. Keep m as it is. Log x becomes 1 by x. Ordinary formula plus n into log y becomes 1 by y. Whenever y comes, remember to put dy by dx. RHS m plus n into log x plus y becomes 1 by x plus y into hide logarithm. x becomes 1, y becomes dy by dx. Let us check m plus n as it is log x plus y. Log becomes 1 by. So log x plus y becomes 1 by x plus y. Hiding logarithm. x becomes 1, y becomes dy by dx. The next step. 
Let us split and write it. M plus N by X plus Y into 1 plus M plus N by X plus Y into DY by DX. LHS M by X plus N by Y DY by DX. The next step. Bring DY by DX to one side, other terms to the other side. So we have N by Y DY by DX minus M plus N by X plus Y DY by DX equals to M plus N by X plus Y minus M by X. So I bring this term to the left and this term to the right. Let us take LCM and simplify the answer. LHS dy by dx is common. I am left with n by y minus m plus n by x plus y. RHS what is the LCM? x into x plus y. Cross multiplying m into x mx n into x nx minus m into x mx minus m into y minus m y. LHS also we shall take LCM. It is y into x plus y cross multiplying nx plus ny minus my minus ny equals to mx mx cancels nx minus my by x into x plus y. Both the sides x plus y common in the denominator which can be cancelled. In the numerator ny ny cancels. So what is dy by dx? Here I have nx minus my by x into y in the denominator goes to the numerator nx minus my comes to the denominator. Both the terms are same. We can cancel. So we are left with y by x. Hence we have proved dy by dx equals y by x and hence the problem is solved.